Danger Dolan. From finding out you sold your soul to the devil to mass produced secretive cannibalism, we look at 15 movie twists. Number 15. The Mist. Pushing the boundaries of the unhappy ending to its absolute limits, The Mist's twist is one that can be divisive. Spending the film with Tom Jane and his young child, we see them and a few other survivors trying to escape The Mist. After driving for hours and with no end, the group decides on a murder-suicide. So after killing his son and the rest of the group, there aren't any bullets left for Tom. But turns out the military were right behind him to save the day. Well, fuck. This is an absolute kick in the nuts that pisses off a lot of people, but for us masochists, it's a great piece of tragic horror. Number 14. The Machinist, the film that is more known for Christian Bale's insane weight loss and for having a damn good twist at the end of it. Sleepless, turning into a skeleton and hallucinating, our protagonist finally finds this repressed memory that has been causing it all. He ran over a kid while lighting a cigarette. It comes out of nowhere, but oddly fits logically with the rest of the clues we are given. This treads the line between almost being cliche and awful, but the performance and atmosphere leading up to it make it worth seeing Bale's impersonation of Skeletor for 90 minutes. Number 13. Angel Heart, an underrated detective mystery in the South with supernatural undertones? No, it's not the next season of True Detective. Angel Heart features a standout performance from Mickey Rourke tracking down a missing lounge singer who turns out to be himself. Seems that he sold his soul to Satan, played by De Niro, who is also the person who hired him to find himself. Weird. The twist is darkly tragic, and the film ends with Rourke being taken on the express elevator to hell, which actually makes this the most metal twist of all time. Number 12. Primal Fear. Back when Richard Gere was star, he was in this film that appeared to be a stock standard courtroom drama, but his last minute twist saves it from being that. Siggy has been defending a schizophrenic Edward Norton, believing that he is not responsible for his crime he gets him off. He charged, that is, but oh no! Turns out Norton was faking being crazy. Seems silly and obvious, but the film sells it, and the performances from Gear being charming and Norton being, well, Edward Norton are more than solid, teaching you the lesson that you should never trust someone you think is schizophrenic and is a murderer. Duh. Number 11. The Game. You just lost it, by the way. David Finch's forgotten classic is overshadowed by the better Seven and Fight Club that it's wedged in between, but it still has its merits. The game is an ultimate head fuck. Everything is crazy and the amount of reversals and red herrings lead you to eventually give up on what the fuck is going on, which leaves you as exhausted as Michael Douglas by the end of it. So when it turns out it's all a paid prank, you're kind of relieved that none of it was real. Like waking up from a nightmare, there is a similar feeling of elation that makes you feel satisfied, even if it is a bit of a cop-out. Number 10. Arlington Road. Oh boy, if you like Jeff Bridges being paranoid and crazy, then this is the movie for you. Especially because it turns out his paranoia and crazy is totally justified. Suspecting his neighbour, played by Tim Robbins, of being a terrorist, the film is kind of a cat and mouse game where Bridges discovers the truth. Not only is he a terrorist, but he has frame bridges for the next attack, which he realizes all too late. The reveal is thrilling and also incredibly tragic as we see interviews with people saying how crazy he was. This is one that will make you feel better about spying on the sneaky guy next door. Number 9. Friday the 13th. These movies just keep finding their way onto these lists. This one though is totally unrelated to our favorite machete murderer doing anything at all but his mother. The big reveal that makes the original film interesting, and even ahead of its time, is that the build-up leads to the audience to believe that Jason has come back for revenge, when really it's his mum in a silly blue sweater. It's quite surprising, and an unexpected twist it makes more sense than it should, as it could have easily been silly like in A New Beginning, where they use the same trick but treat the audience like morons. Number 8. American Psycho. This time it's the one where a buff Christian Bale goes around murdering yuppies and hookers while looking at his own glorious abs. But then it turns out it may never have happened. Or it did and it's been covered up. Either way, it's not the point. The point is that all of his actions have been useless and he's still stuck in the life that he really hates. The realization of his own lack of agency is terrifying. Then again, this is the film where he also tries to feed a cat to an ATM because it tells him so and sentient machines that feed on felines is equally as terrifying.
Number seven. Soylent Green is people. The most quoted line of the film is the twist ending you know. It must be a pretty good one. The conclusion of the dystopian detective story is one that, while now is ingrained in popular culture, is still one of the greats, even if you know the twist before seeing the film, playing on our fears of both overpopulation and gross food. Still, there are worse things Soylent Green could be made out of, like cat poop or Brussels sprouts. Number six. Chinatown. Roman Polanski's Neo Noir has plenty of twists and turns, but it's a shocking, incestuous affair that takes our number six spot. After getting his nose cut open and being put through the ringer in order to uncover the truth, this revelation that Evelyn Mulray has had a child with her father makes you feel like this is a mystery you don't want to solve, leading to the eventual It's Chinatown, Jake, line summing up that this is the tip of the iceberg and that both Jake and the audience should let this fucked up mystery go. Number 5. The Usual Suspects. What's that? You have a brilliant plan to get away with your crime? Just blame it on a mastermind who may or may not exist and may or may not be you? What? Audiences are still asking who is Keys or Sos, or more aptly, is he real? With Kevin Spacey filling the unreliable narrator role, it's hard to know what in the film is a lie and what's fact. In the last revelation, the whole film may have been a total fabrication turns to brilliant. While this move could have backfired spectacularly, some of the cast were even unsure if they could pull off a twist that was both confusing as it was brilliant. Number 4. The Wicker Man. Unfortunately, the Nick Cage remake couldn't quite capture what made this twist great, or, well, the film in general, really. Following a police officer investigating a little girl's disappearance on a small, strange island, the trail leads him right into a trap where it's revealed that the disappearance was faked, oh, and that he's gonna be burned alive as a sacrifice. As awesome as this is, it's a slightly convoluted way to get people to burn alive. Surely there's some hitchhikers you can abduct instead of mind-fucking a police officer and then burning him too. Number 3. Planet of the Apes. Charlton Heston and iconic twist endings seem to go hand in hand, especially when it comes to anything with science fiction. After spending the whole film proving to ape society that humans are more than dumb cattle and making the world a better place, he sets out to make a home on this new alien world. Oh wait, no! It's Earth, and it's the future, and the world ended. That's a real bad day, finding out things are that fucked up. It's no wonder he spent the next five years pounding the sand, ranting like a maniac. You did it, you blew it up, damn you all to hell. Number two. The Vanishing. No, not the American version with Kiefer Sutherland, or should I say Big Boss. The original Dutch film that asks you, do you really, really want to know? Basically, the film is about the man searching for his kidnapped girlfriend for years, Eventually, the kidnapper invites him to find out what happened to her by experiencing it. It's a fascinating dilemma, and the reveal is not for the claustrophobic. Yep, after being drugged, he wakes to find himself buried alive now with the dual knowledge that not only will he die, but that his love died the same terrible death, and the killer will get away with it. Agonizing, tragic, and brilliantly done. Sometimes it's best not to know. Number 1. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, there was probably no doubt that this would be on here at number one. Has there been any twist that has had such a huge impact on all of us? Finding out that Luke has been fighting his dad the whole time is such a huge bomb on the way. The series is unfolding at that point. It's so iconic because it's absolute genius for the tone of the film, ending on a bleak note and providing the pathway for Luke's character to grow in the next film. Imagine speculating for years on how this would pan out back in 1980. Hasn't really been anything like it since or been as effective at surprising us at all. That's it for this countdown. And have a go!